right now at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. See for yourself at your dealer's spring laser blitz today. Sometimes you can tell by the way it looks. Sometimes you can tell by the way it feels. Sometimes it comes to you in broad daylight. Sometimes you find it in the middle of the night. But you know when you got the right one. A tough decision for the victim of a drunk driver on Nightcast. Next on Father Dolly. This is your lucky day. I am personally returning the Chalice of St. Sophia. You draw a cashier's check to cash for the $10,000. Right? And John's banker will give you a draft for the other $10,000. You gave these men a bank draft written to cash? But they gave me $10,000. You've been kind. That's all it'll cost you to get in on the ground floor, Mr. Burke. This kind of thing isn't my usual line of business, Leo. What good is it going to do me to get involved? Hey, we're talking about a surefire operation here. We melt this baby down. We're looking at at least a half a million in sapphires and rubies, not to mention the gold. All right, let's talk reality. If I bankroll you on this thing, I want a fair exchange on my investment. No problem, Mr. Burnham. No problem. After expenses, we split 50-50. 70-30, Leo, and all expenses come out of your end. Hey, Mr. Look, Burnham. Look, Leo, you come to me in the last minute. I have to figure you're out of choices. The jeweler who's going to make this copy. Otto Freyak. You satisfied he does good work? 
Yeah, no problem, Mr. Burnham. Freya is, is an artist. She won't be able to tell his chalice from the real one. I pick it up tonight. Willis, give Leo his money. Check back with me before this goes down. And don't bring me any problems. Oh, no, you won't be sorry, Mr. Burnham. You have my personal guarantee. I know, Leo. And if anything goes wrong, anything at all, I'll hold you personally responsible. Look, I'm in the newspaper. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a wonderful opportunity. I am personally returning the Chalice of St. Sophia. Oh, oh, Romania, Bucharest. I wish they'd mentioned my name, though. <laughs> you know, Father Dowling, I have never been to Europe. <sighs> well, I'm happy for you, Father Presswick. Oh, would you hand me the blue marker, please? I am wondering if the bishop will want to go to Rome as long as we're over there, the Vatican? Wouldn't that be something? Oh, that certainly would. Father darling, Sister Steve, I thought maybe while you were working, you'd like a cup of tea. No, I thank you, Marie. <laughs> Can I get you anything, Father Preston? No, thank you, Marie. This will be fine. Steve, how many of these posters do we have to make? Well, we had to hit all the local shops, Frank, so I guess at least a dozen. Mm. So how about you, Phil? You want to lend a hand? Oh, I'm sorry, Sister Stephanie, but when it comes to art, I'm all thumbs. But just think, the Chalice of St. Sophia, after all of these years, is finally going home to Bucharest? Actually, that's why I'm here. Father, I need your help. My help? The bishop is already in Romania, arranging for the return of the Chalice to the Church of St. Sophia, now that the communists are out of power. I'm leaving tomorrow night with the Chalice. You might say I'm a courier. Oh, that's quite a responsibility. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. But if I go to Romania, I can't run the diocesan orphanage fundraising drive. So I was wondering if you'd... No. Father Dowling has to run the Paris Street Fair. He cannot do both. <sighs> well, it's getting late. I'd better leave. Good night, Father Dowling. Good night, sister. Good night. Good night. Frank, I had to say something. Father Philip means well, but you can't do his job, too. You work too hard as it is. I suppose you're right. Thanks for the thought. Like I tell everybody, you're an artist. So, what did we say? 5,000, right? 15. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We had a deal. The gold plate cost more than I thought. Uh, compared to what you're going to make on this deal, hmm, 15 is cheap. Otto, I already tapped my last backer for this five. I cannot go back and ask for another 10. That's rough. After the scam. I'll cut you in for the other ten, after the scam. Read the sign, Leo. The price is 15000 Cash on delivery. Mr. Shaw, your insurance company has nothing to worry about. This chalice will not leave the bishop safe until I hear from him later today. Then I will carry it in this bag directly to the airport. My flight leaves for Bucharest at 9 p.m. And it will not leave my sight until I get to Bucharest tomorrow morning. Well, Father, I have to tell you, you have certainly taken a load off of my mind. Our company has a sizable policy on this little item, and we'd hate to have anything happen to it between here and Romania. I'm glad it's in good hands. It's the very best of hands, Mr. Shaw. Is. Of course. Well, I'm sorry for the interruption, Father. I'll let you get back to work. 
I know you must have a lot to do before you leave for Romania. Actually, I'm afraid I've done everything I can. I should be pleased. We've banked over $10,000 for the church orphanage fund. $10,000. Almost eleven. But I'd hoped for a lot more. Father, I might be able to help you. May I use your phone? Oh, it's not mine, it's the bishop's. <laughs> this is his office, but yes, of course, go ahead. Thank you. Jennifer! Yes, it's Max Shaw. Is he in? John! Max! Fine, thank you, thank you. And yourself? Good, good. John, I'm in the bishop's office, and... Uh, oh, no, 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 the, the bishop is not here, John. Actually, he's in Romania. Oh, well, I'll have Father Prestwick send him your best. Father Prestwick, John, he's in charge of the church orphanage fund. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very good cause, John. I, that's why I'm calling you. Father Prestwick could use your help. You would, John. Whoa, that's, that's incredibly generous of you, John. Perhaps you'd, let, you'd like to speak to Father Prestwick yourself. Oh, well, if you have to be downtown, you have to be downtown. I'll, I'll, I'll tell him. Yes. Th thank you, John. Thank you. God bless. Father, this is your lucky day. What? My client, John Lansing, Lansing Industries, would like to contribute to your charity fund on a matching fund basis. One dollar for every dollar the church has already collected. <laughs> Good heavens. So, what we do is this. You draw a cashier's check to cash for the $10,000 that the church has already collected. Then, you meet me at John's bank at this address, and John's banker will give you a draft for the other $10,000. Then we take the two checks and we deposit them in an account in the church's name. So, it's 11 o'clock now. We meet at 12 noon. You have any problem at all, you call me at that number. Mr. Shaw, this is a godsend. You know something, Father? I was thinking the same thing myself. After you do your hunk, you take a trip. Where am I gonna go on five bills? What am I, your travel agent? I think, I think I'm a little slow. You better get inside. Oh, sure. But what I'm thinking, that's right, we can get all those papers out to you by tomorrow. Um, I think we need, yeah. Would you have to Here he is, Mr. Collins. Uh, Father Prestwick, this is Mr. Collins. Mr. Collins, Prestwick. Father Prestwick. Yes. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Your check for the $10,000. Right. And John's check for the other $10,000. That makes a total of $20,000 for the orphanage fund. <laughs> You've doubled your money, Father. Not a bad day's work, eh? If you'll wait here, Father, I'll get you a receipt for this deposit. All right, thank you very much. You know, when the bishop hears about this, you won't believe it. Well, I imagine he'll be stunned. <laughs> Your receipt, Father. Thank you. <laughs> thank you both. You don't know what you've done. Oh, yes, we do, Father. Probably better than you do. <laughs> thank you. Which puts the orphanage fund well over the endowment goal for the entire year. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? You gave these men a bank draft written to cash? Mm hmm As part of the matching fund, in order to open the new account. And did you actually see this bank officer make the deposit? 
Did you actually see the teller accept the check? <laughs> well, I wasn't standing right next to the man. Exactly where were you standing? I was to cross the lobby. Wait a minute, I've got the receipt right here. Father, Phil, there's no teller's stamp on this slip. Anyone could have filled it out. Now, I'm sure that's just an oversight. The man was a bank officer. It's the oldest scam on the street. But they gave me $10,000. <laughs> Sorry, Father. There's no record of this account, and these numbers don't even match our coding system. What about the deposit? I checked our tellers, and no one has taken a deposit for $20,000 today. I think we should call the police. Oh, yeah. Wait, I don't understand. What happened to the other $10,000? There was no $10,000. And the orphanage fund? It's gone, Philip. The thing is, Father, you've been conned. This is Tropicana Pure Premium. No other major brand of juice comes closer to this than Pure Premium. Now this is Tropicana Pure Premium Home Style for those with fond memories of mom's juice. Home Style is filled with juicy bits of real orange, like mom's. So if you like the taste of juicy bits, no other major brand comes closer to this than Pure Premium Home Style. Either way, you just can't pick a better juice. Even after sleeping four long years, the Duracell batteries you know and love still give you the life you need. There's a date that proves it. Duracell, with four years storage. When flash and flare needs special care, try Woolers in your machine. From active wear to evening wear, whatever clothes need special care, trust Woolite in your machine. Woolite in your machine. What's that light? What light? The red light on the dash. Oh, the alternator. It's broken, right? Possibly. But you don't know. Well, do you? Shouldn't we stop? Well, I don't know if it'll start again. You don't know? Well, no, do you? No. Great. What you don't know could leave you stranded. So pick up the emergency repair book, free from Shell. It's full of helpful information. Like, if your alternator light does come on, keep driving until you can get help. I guess we shouldn't have stopped. Well, now you know. Where are we? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know? Ow. And son, I figured when you were old enough, I'd talk to you about drugs. I'd tell you they're nothing but poison. I'd tell you to stay away from the garbage that pushes that junk. Only I never figured that I ought to be telling that to a 13-year-old. If you don't teach your kids to say no to drugs, it's as good as saying yes. Action Saturday begins with a young girl's fight for life. How many more attempts can they do? I wish the doctors knew what was the matter. Tragedy hits home. Am I going to die? A cry for help, followed by Kojak. Saturday. Sunday. Haven't you ever picked up a girl in a bar before? She was hired to seduce a killer. Do you have to sleep with him? Then to betray him. You want me to record him? We've got to get her out of this. Listen, just listen. Based on a true story, love and lies, Sunday. Philip, anyone could have done what you did. Anyone didn't do it. I did it. $10,000? When the bishop finds out about this, I'll be demoted to curate of diocesan school supplies. I'll be counting erasers for the next 10 years. I still don't understand how he got away with well, it. Well, I don't quite see it myself. It's simple. Frank, do you have a 10 for two fives? I want to send my niece some money for her birthday. You don't have a niece. Go with me on this, Frank. It's a demonstration.
Oh, I need a stamp. Would you hold this for me, Frank? I'm gonna go get some postage. Let me have one of those fives. I'll be right back. Thanks. I think I see. I don't, Sister Stephanie. What's the point? You just gave Father Dowling five dollars. No, he just gave me five dollars. No, he's got your ten. Check the envelope. See, in my neighborhood, three-card Monty was more popular than hopscotch. I'm sorry, Sister Stephanie, but it does not help me to think I can even be conned by a nun. Uh, you got my five. Philip, why don't you go on back to St. Michael's and get some rest? Steve and I will finish up here. You know, I can't help thinking, Steve. What, Frank? Well, if I'd agreed to take over the fundraising drive, this might not have happened. None of the tellers remembers anyone matching the description Father Presswood gave us. Probably wouldn't make much difference if they did. Why is that, Clancy? Well, a short con like this, you almost never catch the perps. Money like that in their pocket, odds are they're already out of town anyway. We've got no leads, nowhere to go. Well, what about the business card the insurance agent gave Father Pressman? <laughs> Chicago Fidelity Insurance never heard of Max Shaw. In fact, this isn't even their phone number. You call? No answer. While we were taking statements, I ran a trace. It belongs to a payphone just two blocks from here. Where exactly is that? 3422 Broadway. It's a dead end, Father. I'm sorry. This confidence man might have been waiting right here in this booth just in case Phil called before they met at the bank. And if he's got the number on a card, Frank, maybe he's been here before. He's probably a regular. Yeah. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a man sitting here just before lunch? Early 30s, he had on a dark suit. Him? He's here all the time. Drinking my coffee. Using my phone. Bothering my help. Do you know his name? Name? Why should I know his name? Look, I run this place alone. You think I can take the time to talk to people? Well... Come on. I can see that you're a very busy man. Uh, you say he bothered your health? JJ, my delivery boy. This guy pays JJ to do errands for him. While JJ's supposed to be working for me, he's working for him. Is JJ here now? I fired him. You want to talk to JJ? Look in that video arcade down the street. Thanks, you've been a big help. I gotta get some new help. Excuse me, son, are you JJ? Son, nobody calls me son but my dad. He only calls me when he wants a few bucks for a six-pack or something. We were wondering about a guy that you ran some errands for over at South Diner. You mean Leo? Leo. Hey, you know where we can find him? Forget it, man. Leo's stone cool. He knows how to throw down a score. Someday he's going to teach me his moves. You look like you got all the moves you'll ever need already. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Pretty good at this, huh? The best. So if I beat your score, will you help us find Leo? Yeah, okay. Whatever. But if you lose, I get his hat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Steve. Frankie, uh, trust me, it's a cinch. I used to play games like this with my brothers this, all the time. This is gambling with a child. Some child. Maybe it'll teach him a lesson. Um, do you have a quarter? Yes, thank you, Your Excellency. Bye. I just got off the phone with the bishop. Long distance. Everything is set, Marie. My flight leaves at 9 p.m. Oh, good. Now you ought to start packing. I've been packed for days. You've no idea how much I've looked forward to this trip, but now... I couldn't tell him about the money, Marie. Oh, well... It'll probably come as a surprise, but the truth of the matter is, the bishop and I don't always get along. Mm. <clears throat> it reminds me of my father. Your father, father? My father was a good man, Marie, but stern, very stern. Fact. Reminds me of a time I couldn't have been more than six or seven years old. Uh, father, would you excuse me? Oh, sorry. Me, you said. It's a stamp, you said. I just don't understand. What can I tell you, Frank? I'm sorry. That was my favorite hat. Mother. Want your hat back? Oh, thank you. Look at that hat. Glad to help you out. It didn't fit JJ. Anyway, he's a cheat. Just like his friend Leo. What's your name? Sharice? I'm Steve. Steve, kind of tough name for a nun. Depends on the nun. Do you know Leo? Do you know where he lives? Can you take us to him, Sharice? Because I told you to turn out all right, Frank. Steve, I never doubted you for a minute. Come on. Thank you. Where do you live? Just down the street. Hey, Charisse. You know, St. Michael's has a youth group. Why don't you come hang out with us sometime? Are you going to be there? Every Wednesday. There he is. That's Leo. Dolly from St. Michael's Church. I believe you took something that belongs to a friend of mine, Father Philip Prestwick. Prestwick? Prestwick? No, no, I don't know any Prestwick. Oh, come on, don't con us, Leo. We know all about the scam you pulled at the bank. You have a check for $10,000 in church charity funds, and we'd like it back. I should have known it would be bad luck to con a priest. I'm sorry, Father. Sister. The check is in my apartment. You wait right here. I'll go get it. The check is in the desk, Father. Help yourself. All this excitement. Uh, you have to go to the little boys. Room. Excuse me, sister. Forgive my French. I 
lack of faith in human nature is a constant disappointment to me, sister. Hit it. get the suitcase at my place, I pick up the chalice from Otto, and that's it. The rest is like I told you. It happens tonight. Right. Everything's fine. No problem. No problem, Mr. Burnham. You have my personal guarantee. I know you told me you wanted me to check in, but Otto's waiting for me. Can I go? Life's been full of surprises. So I bought Lysol cleaner to keep the house as clean as it can be. Cleaner. What really surprised me was its fresh lemon scent. Other cleaners can clean too, but most can't disinfect like Lysol. Lysol deodorizing cleaner with a lemon fresh scent. I like Lysol. Hey, Mom. What are you doing? Making the house smell nice with Lysol spray. Is it trash can? It has germs on it that make the house smell bad. Like in Bobby's sneakers. Like in your bathroom. Lysol really kills germs. And cleans the air, so the whole house smells fresh. It smells good. <laughs> All it takes is Lysol. With men or boys in your home, chances are the bathroom needs cleaning almost every day. You need new, fresh-smelling Lysol bathroom touch-ups. Just wet one under the tap and wipe. In one step, you've cleaned, disinfected, and deodorized. So, for quick, in-between cleanings, you need new Lysol bathroom touch-ups. Did you ever demand money for sex? They have a love of the law. Tell me about the coroner's report again. And a passion for justice. A special preview of Equal Justice, Tuesday, March 27th. Father Dowling will continue in a moment. I'm Bill Griffin. And I'm Laura Buxton. Tomorrow, whether priest and nun should be injected with the AIDS virus to be guinea pigs for a new AIDS vaccine. Also, some little people tell about their struggles and triumphs in a world where size means so much. And a preview of St. Patrick's Day. And I'll Lisa Kim in the Channel 10 newsroom, the fallout from the demise of the government of the state of Israel. And a look at our baffling ballot. Inside San Diego, tomorrow morning at 11 on San Diego's 10. This is what American Airlines does better than anyone else. Arrive on time. Again and again. In fact, American has had the best on-time arrival record of the seven largest domestic airlines for as long as records have been kept. American Airlines, the on-time machine. According to the latest estimates, Earth will soon be inhabited by more than 5.2 billion people. Where will they all fit? The latest dance craze inspires a movie. See it on Nightcast.
what is your story, Father? I'm looking for a man named Leo. He was just here. Do you have an ex-brother-in-law named Leo? This Leo stole $10,000 from the diocesan orphanage fund. <sighs> Try to do a favor for somebody. Because they used to be family. The minute you turn your back, they slip a knife in your spine! <clears throat> well, uh... If you think I'm going to be surprised by what you're telling me, Father, uh, I'm not because I always knew Leo was no good. Do you know where I can find him? Tonight was the first time I saw Leo Chaplin in a year. Well, if you think of anything, would you uh, give Sergeant Clancy a call downtown? I'll do that. So long, Father. Ted, show Father to his car. What sort of favor? Sorry? Well, you said you did Leo a favor. What was it? Money. I loaned him some money. Uh. Guarantee. His personal guarantee. Yeah, there'd be no problem. But what does he do? He needs a priest. A lousy priest right in my office. You hear what I'm saying? I'm taking over Leo's scam. You hear me? You hear what I'm saying? You get over to that apartment, Leo's, and pick up that suitcase. And don't leave any loose ends. What about Leo? He's useless. I don't want to see him anymore. You understand? When is your next flight to Belize? Uh huh. Not not not, not till tomorrow, right? Okay. What, what, what about Caracas? No, no, no. Leo, got a minute? Mr. Burnham wants a word with you. came here to warn you. A man might be coming here to kill you. There he is. We better call Clancy. Hi, Marie. Oh, hi. A lot of press we're getting your way this afternoon. Not after he shut down. Isn't he joining us for dinner? No, he had to rush off. Well, I thought his plane didn't leave till nine. It doesn't, but... He said something about a phone call. What phone call? Oh, a man named Leo. Leo? What did he want? I don't know. Father Prestwick said something about movies. Is there a picture called The Bluebird? It's the Bluebird Theater, Frank. It's downtown. Where are you going? To the movies. Do this honor me. Do this honor all family. What do you want out of it? Go. Do what Father say. Psst, 
father. Don't, don't, don't turn around. It's me. Why can't I turn around? Because it's safer this way. I'm a little bit jumpy, you know what I mean? I'm not surprised. Guilty conscience is a poor pillow. What? Took money from the orphanage fund. It's hard to rest easy when you're in fear of divine retribution. It's not divine retribution I'm in fear of, Father. But you're right. What, what, what I did was wrong. I see that now. I want to make amends. I would like your forgiveness, Father. You would? Well, of course I forgive you. What, what's your real name? Leo Chaplin. All right, Leo, I forgive you. But what about the money? Oh, you can have the money back, Father. No problem, but I need your help. I'm in trouble with some real bad guys because of you. Because of me? What did I do? You were the perfect mark. You made it too easy. Are you saying this is my fault? Talk to the cops. Tell them I'll turn state's evidence if they put me on a witness protection program or something. Tell them there's a big scam coming down tonight. You steal from the church orphanage fund $10,000. Father. And you think it's my fault because I trusted okay. you? Okay, I was wrong. I'm sorry. The 10000 isn't important. I needed it to pay off the jeweler. Otto got greedy. He wanted more money before he'd give me the goods. You had the money. You were the mark. What could I do? Well, at least you could have resisted the temptation. Okay. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am too trusting. Lord grants us adversity. Teach us lessons about ourselves. I certainly learned a lesson about this. I hope you have to, Leo. Leo. to change your bulb to Philips. Philips Longer Life Square Bulbs last 33% longer than ordinary bulbs. Dentists warn the number one dental problem isn't cavities, it isn't tartar, it's black. And some people just don't brush well enough to get enough black off their teeth. That's why there's Blacks, the dental rinse specifically designed to help remove black. Today, there are more reasons than ever to put your trust in the Century 21 system. Access to more buyers, the exclusive action warranty, and year in, year out, no one sells more homes. So if you're ready to sell, call your local Century 21 office today. Young man, did your mother know what you do for a living? Monday, comedy's hottest stars come out to honor their own. Are you going to be there? For performances in television series, TV specials. Now that's comedy. Motion pictures and stand-up that'll knock you down. And the winner is... He said Jenny! He said Jenny! He had an accordion, too! Yeah, let's go eat. The 4th Annual American Comedy Awards, Monday. If you test positive for the AIDS virus, should your doctor have the right to notify your lover or spouse? They do with other communicable diseases. Plus, Diane Sawyer hits the road with Chris, Johnny, Willie, and Waylon. Watch Prime Time tonight. From the wound, it looks like a 9mm. Had to be silent since Father Presswick didn't hear a shot. It must have happened just before we arrived. Probably lucky for you we got here when we did. Chaplin said something about a jeweler, Father? That's why he needed the money to pay the jeweler, someone named Otto. I'll bet it's Otto Frank. You know him? Frank's a marginal player. 
Uh, been tapped for forgery and receiving stolen goods. Uh, half a dozen arrests, but no convictions. We'll check him out. What about uh, Rex Burnham? We'll check him out, too. Father, do you remember anything else about this big scam Leo mentioned? Only that it's supposed to happen tonight. <gasps> what time is it? It's almost 8 o'clock. My flight leaves in an hour. I have got to go. Father, I'd prefer that you didn't leave town. I cannot miss this flight, Sergeant. It's very important church business, Clancy. Yeah, besides, we're more involved than he is anyway. You never make it easy for me, Father. All right. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Sister. Thank you. Here. Where's the item? Uh, let me show it to you. You're gonna be real pleased. Work of art. It better be. <sighs> How do you like it? As a case goes with it. I got that, too. Just like Leo asked. Yeah. It's exactly like the one in the newspaper photo. Hmm. Now, suppose we uh, settle up and uh, you can be on your way. Good idea. Like you said, settling up. <laughs> Father Prestwick for a confidence game. <laughs> I've been wondering about that myself. Well, what was he doing in the bishop's office in the first place? St. Hey, Michael. Oh, Sergeant Clancy. Yes, Clancy. Mm -hmm. I didn't call you so you could come down here, Frank. I just thought you ought to know someone killed Otto Freyick. Same man who shot Leo Chaplin? No, we don't know that. Well, that's what you think. Well, two cons doing business together, murdered the same night. Well, it certainly looks like the killer was searching for something. Well, whatever it was, if it was in the safe, he certainly found it. Uh, may I? Thank you. Oh, my Lord. This is why Leo went to the bishop's office. He was checking on the security arrangements for Father Presswick's trip to Bucharest. Chalice of St. Sophia. Otto made a copy. something for the ticket. I can't find it. Oh, thank heavens. You have no idea the day I've had. Exhausting. Me too. What flight are you on? Uh, 21 to Bucharest. Wasn't that canceled? What? No. No, there it is. Flight 21. It's right on schedule. It's just leaving, Father. Oh. If 
he's carrying the fake chalice, we better get a message to him before he sees the bishop. Looks like Phil's coming back here freight. Yeah. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't wait up for him. <laughs> Looks like they're celebrating. What are they so happy about? <laughs> They made the switch. It's in the bag. <laughs> Seeing someone on? Yeah, Father. You too? Quite a coincidence. You wouldn't by any chance be seeing Leo Chaplin off now, would you? No, we did that earlier. You wouldn't by any chance be referring to Leo being killed at that movie theater, would you? Leo was killed in a movie? You don't know anything about that, do you? No, I wouldn't. Would you know anything about that? No, I wouldn't know anything about that. Looks like neither of us know anything about that, Father. Well, I thought you'd be surprised. What was that all about? through to Bucharest. Father Dowling will continue in a moment. Four-wheel drive. Me that you can drive in every direction at the same time. There's four steering wheels for driving. Anti-lock brakes? Yes, you can lock them so no one will steal them. Kids may not understand what Ford Aerostar's new four-wheel drive and standard rear anti-lock brakes are all about. But rest assured, their parents do. Now get 6.9 financing for up to 48 months or $500 cash bonus on Ford Aerostar. Introducing new Extra Strength Rolades, 250 milligrams stronger than Tums EX, 1,000 milligrams of fast relief. This settles it once and for all. Your day begins with the bare necessities. Lubriderm lotion. 
created for dermatologists. Absorbs quickly, every day, everywhere. Lubriderm, your bare necessity. Next, a lone witness. Is this the man you saw kill all those folks on the stage? With a price on his head. They're not the boy! You say, guys? The Young Riders. Beautiful. Father Dowdy, Sister Stephanie, Father Prestwick's on the phone from Bucharest. <laughs> uh oh. Father Dowdy, hello. Got the message that you called. No, the flight uh, wasn't what I expected. Actually, I got a little bit of food poisoning. But uh, <laughs> yes, but I, I'm here and it's wonderful. Yes, the ceremony is about to start. Half the city must be out there, Father. <laughs> uh, the bishop is very pleased. It's really quite impressive. Yeah, well, we got something to tell you, Father Presswick. The coroner, he found $10,000 taped to Leo's stomach when they undressed him at the morgue. Yeah, that is good news. But uh, we've got some bad news for you, too. Well, the chalice you took to Romania, it's a fake. Ah! You know, I think he's taking it rather well. Father Presswick? Phil? Hello? Next, on Father Dowling. Frank? Not now, sister. But don't tell me it was nothing, because I saw you with my own eyes. What I'm going to say is hard to believe. Far too shocking for me to hear. Now, wait a minute. I think you're making a mistake. With a $20 million princess at stake, I don't have a sense of humor. What princess? Oh, my God, you're a priest. Oh, yes, but last you're night disgusting. I was... disgusting. Don't think I'm going to repeat what you said to me the other day, Father. Well, yes. I no. I'm Ted Koppel. Later on Nightline, shocking, barbaric, monstrous savagery, a sampling of reaction to the hanging today of a London-based journalist in Iraq. This is Joan London. Tomorrow, our special guest, First Lady Barbara Bush. Also, music to set the mood for St. Patrick's Day, plus Millie Vanilli. Tomorrow on Good Morning America. Now stay tuned for the Young Riders. Learning to read can help you solve many of life's mysteries. Sunday, they had the courage to confront and conquer the problems of illiteracy.